Right now we're in the middle of a two-year project looking at developing a system to evaluate equestrian helmets uh, to protect riders in case they fall off and hit the ground. We look at a lot of different sports. We started with football and hockey and bicycling and now equestrian is a big area that we're focusing on. I started riding when I was seven years old and that was my whole life before I decided to come to school. I competed, I was in pony club, uh, I did show jumping, I worked overseas for a little bit. It's a risky sport. If you fall off, there's a lot of energy, you're at a high height, so you have a lot of head injuries, a lot of concussions. So what we want to do is we want to quantify what happens when a rider falls off a horse. If they hit the dirt, if they hit the grass, if they hit sand, what does that impact characterization look like? For every sport that we work on, we want to be very sport specific. When we did hockey, we rented an ice rink and we tested on ice and boards and glass. So for equestrian, we want to do the same thing. What exactly is the impact event that an equestrian rider sees when they hit the ground? They're higher, they're taller, there's different surfaces. So it's so important that we characterize that impact event so we can have an equestrian rating system that's specific for that sport. I started working in the helmet lab last year in 2020 and since I rode horses I thought it would be the perfect opportunity to try and intersect those two sections of my life with science and then with the sport as well. We have a great team in the helmet lab so today we have a series of faculty that are helping lead and run the program and we also have a series of undergraduates that work in the lab and get experiential learning to help us perform all these tests. Three, two, one. We have a lot of goals in this research. The ultimate goal is to reduce injuries for riders. The way we do that is we develop a rating system. In this case, we'll develop equestrian star and we'll give that to manufacturers as an idea and a blueprint for how they can develop the best helmets. Then the manufacturers will work hard because they're gonna want five-star rated helmets because that's what consumers are gonna to wanna to buy. So by developing a system, by rating the helmets, we create that circle from consumers to manufacturers to researchers and that's actually what drives better products. There's no rating system right now. I think it's all anecdotal, like some people just prefer certain helmets, other people prefer others. It's amazing. I mean, I've had concussions in my past, so now looking back at the fact that we don't have a rating system, that's crazy to me because the injury rate is really high in this sport, so it's encouraging knowing that there's research going into the safety aspect.